All right, hello. Welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, if you enjoy these types of videos, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And subscribing is free, and it really helps out the channel. And yeah. All right, so as you saw in the title, we're going to be building a microwave working, obviously. So these are the materials you're going to need. Now, everything on the bottom is optional. I highly recommend it, but it's all optional. Now, you if you're on an earlier version that doesn't have the smoker, that's fine. You don't need to use it. You can use a furnace. But if you have the smoker, like access to the smoker, it's way faster th for cooking food than a furnace. I highly suggest it. All right. So, with that all out of the way, let's grab the things we're going to be needing. Now, this is really easy build, like, incredibly easy. Um, like, it's, yeah. Alright, so, for your hoppers, you're going to place a hopper here. Well, no, okay. Oh, by the way, this wood plank. It's a block of choice. You can have any amount of it. Doesn't matter the amount. I suggest a stack because we're going to be using it a lot. Um, but it's your choice. Okay, so you're going to use your block of choice. Ugh. Place your furnace on top of it. Break it. Place a, fur er, a hopper out the back of the furnace. Place a hopper there. And then your block of choice here, a hopper going into it, now break this hopper, and then fix it to make sure it's going into this hopper. And this is how it should look. Then you want to come up here and you want to place a hopper right there. Now that's all for the hoppers. Now you want to take your dropper, your two droppers, and place them like this, and take your block of choice and make sure you surround the dropper. Otherwise, the item will pop out into the redstone circuit or whatever, not into the floor, okay? Or like into your inventory. By the way, where this cold block is, that's where the wall is going to be. I should have mentioned that earlier. All right, so next you want to take, you can break this actually for now, you want to take a redstone comparator and then a redstone repeater on one tick delay. Take your seven redstone and wrap it around into this dropper. And what that will do is as soon as the item goes into it, it will pop up out of the floor. Now you make sure to put this block back. That's very important. Now onto the harder part of the build. So you want to just bring your floor in and doesn't really matter your flooring type. Mine's just wood. You can use whatever. Now, so this, say this is your floor. Again, this cold block is your wall. So this is your wall. Now, I suggest this be on a counter, okay? So like, doesn't have to be, but it just, trust me, it's way better to be on a counter. So, this is your wall, just semi wally, you know, just a wall. Okay, so where your hopper is, you want to break a block there and break a block to the side, doesn't matter which side. Place a block there, and then you want to take those three rails, place one there, one there, and then one there. Take your hopper in a minecart and place it there so it will slide into place. Now, this is probably the part I hate the most. It's probably the most annoying. You want to go down here and you want to break the rail. So see how the rail is highlighted? If I go above it, the minecart's highlighted. Like, it's not highlighted. If I go down, it's highlighting the hopper. 
So you want to just get that sweet spot, break it, then replace that block and that block. And then what you want to do is you want to take a piston. Now, make sure it's not a sticky piston because that will not help your situation. Take a redstone torch or any activation item for this piston. Place it. And then you can get rid of these two things. Now, see how it's not visible. So, just to make sure, yeah, that's our block. So, now, literally, that's the entire, oh, wait, I forgot one thing. These two chests. Now, this is, I think it's a need. To you, it might be optional. I place a double chest there and fill it up with coal to make sure the system never runs out of coal. So, I'm not going to put coal in it because it's pretty straightforward. Um, so, you put coal in the furnace and then fill that up if you can. And then, or as much as you can, it, it doesn't really matter. And then you want to... So, I'll show you guys it working before we do the optional stuff. So, uh, I throw that. And you see it took it. If you come down here, it's in the furnace cooking right now. And it will go down, and then I'm going to be up here to, for when it pops out. See, look, and then I got the item. Alright, so, now for the optional bit. So, if we come back to our materials list all of these stuff back you can take all of this oh I forgot okay you can put all this back and now we come over here and oh shoot I'm not very smart am I okay um make sure not to do what I just did all right you don't want to break that block. I'm not smart. Now I have to redo this step. And then I'll also mention what what will happen if the minecart isn't facing the right way. It should be because it should kind of fix itself. But if it doesn't, I'll tell you what to do. So make sure it's that block. You place the glass because that's where you would actually be putting the food if this was a real microwave. Trap door, trap door, and then two carpet on the top. Now, for the item frame, I put it there with an activator rail because to me, it looks but like buttons. To you, might not, which is totally fine. It's completely optional. You don't have to. You could just put a button on there. It doesn't matter. Now, I should probably place that black Ugh, back, hey. Alright. And now for the one piece of redstone in the bell. Just like that. Literally. And all that does is it adds a kind of like system where it's like, ding, you know, it's ready. Um, kind of like a real microwave, but a real microwave would beep. You know? So, now, say your minecart or like your rails naturally face, say your the counter you want to put it on isn't facing the way you want it to. So say the rails are facing that way. Easy, easy fix. Literally do that. It's that easy. And it should fix it. Which, in the tutorial, when you place it, it should automatically do that when you place all the other rails. And then when you break that, the minecart shouldn't move back into place. If it does, because I've had a glitch where it does and just won't move into the other position. Say it's sticking out, all you have to do is take spruce trap doors and place them like this. That's literally it. And that fixes the entire issue because you can't see it. Alright. With all that out of the way. That's actually, I said that like there's more, but there's not. 
that's the entire microwave. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions or trouble, just comment down below and I'll try to help as much as I can. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.